Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. I am so excited to have you here today because we are going to show you some of the best base locations on the Valguero map. The Valguero map just launched on PC official today. This is the first time we've all seen Valguero in its full official glory, and it is breathtaking. Now, some of my favorite base locations on all of Ark are right here on the Valguero map, and I'll show you some of those base locations, tell you a little bit about why I love those places to build and live, show you where to find them with maps and coordinates, and tell you a little bit about them and why I like them so much. Now, if you like what you see today, be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications because this is just the first of very many Valguero map tours that I will be doing, and very soon we will do a very in-depth guide on all the best locations of each region. So be sure to watch this whole video, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started! Now this first base location on the Valguero map that I want to show you is this really awesome spot in the Clay Hills, or Marble Hills, White Hills, lots of people call them different things, but I'll show you the location on the map and coordinates of every base location on this video. So that's the location for this, and I'll show you that at the beginning or end of each place that I show you. Now, whoever built these ruins made us some nice stairs going all the way up to the top of the plateaus, and there's lots of crystal. They even built a drawbridge to keep the raptors out, and uh, you can see how well that's working. Yeah. Ancient civilizations just don't always hold up so well, especially on Ark, where there's dinosaurs to eat everybody. It happens. Now, you've got some really cool ruins all over these plateaus, and there's some nice structures you can start building with, even at this spot. But, it keeps going. This drawbridge over here just keeps extending to these higher plateaus, and there's a full-on castle on the top of these areas. Now, most arc places are not completely flat. It's very rare to find a totally flat area that you can build on on arc in any map, really. Valguero has tons of flat land you can build on, and this plateau is covered in flat spots that you can make massive buildings. And if that's not good enough, they've already built some of the buildings for you. We've got walls all around this castle. It's already crazy well defended. But check it out. It's even got a perfect landing spot for your griffin. So I love this base location, and there's even more cool bases right next to it. Now this next base location on the Valguero map is actually in the White Hills right next to that castle. You can actually just about see the castle from this location, which is pretty cool as it is, so this whole area is awesome. There's the location of this spot, and the reason I love this is it's really well defended and it's a beautiful place. You got a lot of resources good waterfall, good water supply, and it's got a roof over your head. A natural rock wall protects you from above, and I don't know about you guys, but I kind of hate when dinosaurs just drop from the sky into my base, so it's really nice to have this natural roof. And that way, uh, you don't have any accidents of a T-Rex landing on your head or anything like that. Now, it's also got a nice ledge, so you are protected from the ground by a nice high enough ledge to keep the dinos out from the ground, and the roof protects you from the top. And you even get some cactus. I mean, that's uh, what can possibly be better than having cactus in your base, right? So this is a really awesome base location. It's just beautiful scenery, and uh, you've got like five dodicarus right here too, which is always handy if you want some stones. There's a lot of really good metal deposits up on these plateaus very close by, and we are right next to that castle. So just over over to my right is where the castle plateau is, and if we head just a little bit downstream, we've got this awesome, beautiful island that's got waterfalls all around it. And this is another really cool spot to build your base. It's kind of a pain if you have to bring dinos across the water, but you can always make a bridge, and I gotta admit, I have not seen many more beautiful places in all of Ark to live. So if you're into the aesthetic beauty and just having some fun, this is a, this is one of the most beautiful locations to build a base on Valguero. 
Now this next location is not something I would recommend for anyone on a PvP server, but it is also a really cool and beautiful spot. Now there are some logistical problems because uh, it's not something you can really get dinos out of. You can get them in just fine if they fall into this little area, but not so easy to get them out. There is a tiny back door right here where there's a cave that extends really far underground, and I'll show you where that puts out too, so you can actually get to this place without just jumping to your death from up above. But it's just a really aesthetically beautiful location, and if you're just playing on PvE, a solo player, just to have some fun and build around, that's a really awesome spot. So if you want to get into that area, you've got to come down to this canyon and right about here, there it is, that is the entrance to the cave that leads to that underground lake. So it's not really a great base location because it's a little tough for mobility but it's just a little bonus I threw in there because it's a cool spot. Now here's another really cool base location in the Valguero map. Now we are not too far from the Red Obelisk, way out in the Redwood Forest, and here's the location of this spot. This is a massive castle. There's lots of ruins. And even though it is in the Redwood Forest, and I never really recommend living in the Redwoods, check this out. It is a huge pre-built castle. It's a massive fortress that you can build in. And look at that. It has just got walls and gates and even a moat and drawbridge. I mean, you get here, if you survive getting here, you pretty much have a whole base already built for you. So this is a pretty awesome spot. Now if you make a small gate right here, maybe even a stone behemoth dinosaur gateway, that should probably give you all the protection you need. You've got this cool little spot here where uh, you can actually climb up onto the walls to defend them, and then it's got a little door that goes down to this courtyard, so you have a good water supply, and you can actually wall this off too if you repair the bridge here. And it's got a little waterfall, I mean, very cool spot. Now you've got a pretty good sized castle already built for you, a nice open courtyard, and at every tier of this multi-tiered castle you can build walls and gates and then get the jump on your enemies if you're getting invaded. And this area is completely covered. I don't think you can get any further back in this great hall here, but the great hall has got a roof already on your head, so all you gotta do is build some walls and you've got a nice, easily defensible keep. So this is one of my favorite base locations on the entire Valguero map. Now you've also got a whole lot of cool little flat plateaus up on the mountains, lots of resources and good stuff if you've got flyers, so this is definitely an awesome place to build if you're looking for a good base location. And in order to access this valley on foot, there is a tunnel right around here that actually goes for a very long way down into these rocks and takes you out almost down to the lake, so I'll probably show you more about that when I do one of my more in-depth tours of the Valguero map, which should be coming out very soon, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and enable notifications. Now here we are near the green obelisk, and we are up in the jungle area. There's a big swampland down below us, it's a big brown area on the map, and if you look at these waterfalls here, this is a great indicator of what we're looking for. Now right above those waterfalls is a cool little ruined bridge that goes right across this river, right there. And to my right is a staircase that goes all the way up to the top of this mountain. Now I'm going to take the scenic route because I love the scenery here, just beautiful jungle waterfalls, doesn't get much better than that, right? So somewhere around here is a jungle temple. Now this spot is a little bit uh, difficult if you're playing online because you actually have a cave inside the temple and I believe there's an artifact there, so I would not recommend building here if you're playing online, but if you're playing solo, this is an 
awesome spot. Check that out. This is just a beautiful little jungle temple. And just like on Indiana Jones, if we push the right button, this door will open up and we can go see what's inside. So here's the location, and I'm actually gonna show you how to get into this temple just in case you need to do that. Right here on the left is a little button, kind of obvious, you don't really have to be an amazing archeologist slash adventurer to find it, but there's another button right here in case you get yourself in and cannot get out. So looks like something is fighting my griffin, so hey, a beehive, that's actually pretty handy. And uh, hopefully this guy will take care of it before we get there. Oh, come on, Carnotaur. Can't you see I am making a video here? There are lots of people who want to see this. So yeah, get out of here. Doesn't always have to be about you, Carnotaur. And he doesn't care anymore. Typical. Okay. So this next spot I want to show you is just to the north side of the swamp, and once again you can spot the swamp pretty easily on the map because it's a giant brown area, just like the swamp itself. Remember kids, stay out of the swamp, just say no to the swamp, trust me. But right above this ugly swamp is some beautiful waterfalls. We've got these twin falls, and at the top of the waterfalls is a nice little spot where you can actually build a very scenic base. So we've got these ruined bridges on either side, and then in the middle we have this nice little island that's got lots of crystal. If you're looking for crystal, this might be your easiest spot to get some crystal on foot. And these uh, paths lead both sides going out from these ruins so this is actually a kind of awesome spot to build and you don't get much cooler than that I mean that's a very nice view you've got here and this lake is actually pretty awesome too now, I haven't tested this, but I have a feeling these huge trees right next to this spot will probably let you put a sap tap and maybe even a tree platform in them. So this would actually be a pretty awesome looking tree house too, and the base of it is totally flat. So very cool spots right over here. But let me show you this location one more time, and then we're going to head up to an even cooler spot up in the mountains, which is a jungle castle that I like even better than the Ragnarok castle. So we're gonna start this one right where we just were, right by those waterfalls. And if we head up into the jungle, even further towards the east, right at the edge of the map, is this mountain that towers over all of the other mountains in the jungle. And this is where the huge epic castle is. And this is a really cool castle. Now, you'll have to clear some trees out if you want to actually see it pretty well. I mean, it definitely is in need of some lawn maintenance, but check out this castle. It's huge. I think it's five or six stories high. It's already pre-built for you, and it is massive. Look at that. You could build an entire base for a whole alpha tribe in here, give everybody their own rooms, and there's so much room in this thing. Now, I haven't confirmed 100% if you can build in here, but I would be surprised if you couldn't. And look at that. I mean, there's just so much space up here. It's totally fortified. Now, it is in need of repair. I've got to admit, this is a fixer-upper of a castle, but I mean, come on, how often do you just find a castle lying around in the jungle, you know? So the floor could use some work. I mean, you know, I just kind of feel like a realtor here. And you could probably do a little remodeling here and there. But check it out, it's already got staircases going to each of the different levels, and uh, you know, you've already got a pre-built staircase over there where the wall collapsed and uh, you know, made you some nice chambers. So you could actually give everybody their own rooms, decorate the inside as a massive clan hall, and uh, you know, just have a very big tribe living very happily in this whole castle. I don't know if you could fit dinosaurs into it very easily, that might be a little bit of an issue, but there is so much in this castle and so much space and you've even got this cool little uh, room up here on the top so let me see if I can find my way back down this castle and there's some other cool features that I'll show you but you've got tons of trees nearby and uh, you're never gonna run out of wood so let me show you where we are now that we are at the center of the castle this thing is so big the GPS will show different coordinates on different parts of it 
But I think I can get down, let's see, somewhere around here is the stairs. I just showed up here for the first time, so I have not uh, explored this very much, but I'm pretty sure there's a staircase right over here. There we go. Hopefully I won't break my legs falling down the stairs. That's always awkward when you're doing a video. But we'll just take the quick way and, uh, you know, get right down to the bottom. There we go. So now we are on the main floor, and you've got this cool pathway that leads all the way up to this plateau from the ground. And you've also got a pre-built bridge, which is not falling apart like a lot of these ruins. And you've got a nice little ruined watch house over here, too, with quite a view. So any of this stuff that you build on, you can get some really awesome scenery, and it doesn't get much cooler than being in a castle on top of a mountain towering over the jungles of this map. So definitely love the location. Now I'm trying to find a staircase leading downward, so that might take a second, so I'll be right back. And I'm back. I finally found the way down, and here we go. There's a lot of stairs, so I'm going to skip ahead on this too. You don't need to sit here for 10 minutes while I go down the stairs, but I did find a faster way as long as I don't break my legs. So, now that we're finally at the bottom of that staircase, we are at the very base of this mountain. There's a cool tunnel, which actually has a back door for this castle. So, it's a pretty awesome spot, and you wouldn't really know this was here unless you stumbled right upon it. But here is the coordinates of the entrance to this mountain if you want to get there on foot. So just looks like that. Not much to see, but it is pretty cool. Now here's another cool spot. If you want to live right by the lake, there are two very nice plateaus that are both right up above the water. Now here's the spot right between the two of them. Now either of these are pretty easy to build a base on and you can block off just one small side and have a very large flat plateau to live on. Now right here is an awesome spot if you can build one big wall across the land here, you can cut off the entire plateau, and then you've got a totally safe, totally flat area that you can build on. And there's enough trees to get enough supplies to get a pretty good base going there. Now this other spot right over here is, uh, we've got a nice canyon down here too, but this spot right here is another really good plateau, and you can build just a couple of walls, maybe even a giant dinosaur gateway, and it's got a moat right below the plateau, so it's just a natural land bridge completely flat once again, and once you've got it cleared out, aside from that giant rock in the center, you've got a lot of space to work with and a very cool base location. And if you build some pipes down to the water, you've got a great water supply and a really awesome base that's very easy to defend, so this is a great spot to build a base on Valguero. So this next spot is another one of the cool ruined castles on the Valguero map. We are here in the Redwood Forest, kind of in the middle of the bottom of the map, and this castle is built on top of a cool little plateau, so you're pretty well defended from attacks. Now this castle has seen better days, it's in need of a little TLC, maybe some renovations here or there, but put a fresh coat of paint on build a couple walls back up, and you've got a decent little house. You will have to deal with the neighbors and, uh, you know, like this little monkey guy who's just like, hey man, this is my house, get out of here. So after you've evicted this guy, it's not a bad place to live, but once again, I will never really recommend living in the Redwood Forest because there's just too much crazy stuff that lives here. Now, you've also got this cool little watchtower and a bridge built across this uh, gap. Now, I, I don't know if you can really call that a bridge. I don't think it's built to code, but after you've put some repairs in, you've got this nice little pre-built house, and uh, you got a little room in here to work with, so you've already got a house waiting for you if you can make it across that gap. So that's another really cool base location, and there's a lot of good resources on these mountains right above that base. Now this is going to be the last base location I will show you in this video, but there will be lots more videos to come, but I had to make sure I showed you this. This is an awesome waterfall, and uh, it's pretty cool scenery as it is, even though it's a little barren for my tastes. I'm much more prone to jungles, but it's got some good spots to build even above it, nice flat plateaus that are overlooking these mountains. But here is the coolest part. So we've got these waterfalls, and right about here on the left hand side you can actually fly into the waterfall 
gotta be careful that you don't smack into a rock. Don't go at that full speed or you're gonna get a concussion. But if you fly through that waterfall, this area is full of metal and crystal and all kinds of resources. If you can get in here, you can get tons of materials. And you've even got a little swimming pool in the back with a waterfall going down to it. So, you know, oh, ouch, okay. Yeah, I did just smack my head right into that. That was a wall, that was a wall, my bad. Okay, so, you know, didn't hear my own warning. Now here's another cool thing about this spot. These pools of water are not just little pools. They actually are the entrance to a massive underground cavern. So here's the spot that I am at right here inside this cave. And right where I'm standing is the entrance to a huge underwater cave system. Now, I can't even see the bottom of these underwater caves, but if I had scuba gear and, uh, you know, maybe a dolphin, I could actually go under almost the entire map in those cave systems. So it is an absolutely huge, expansive underwater place. And there's sea scorpions down there. You can get some black pearls and all kinds of good stuff in there. So definitely a, a really awesome place to live and great resources back there. So that is all of the map locations I'm going to show you today. I hope you found some really good base locations for your Valguero game game, and I hope this was really helpful. If this helped you, please be sure to hit that like button, and subscribe to this channel, ring that bell for notifications, and it will tell you when my next video comes out. And you're not going to want to miss that, because I am going to be doing even more in-depth base location tours of the Valguero map. We will go region by region and show you tons of spaces that I haven't even shown you today. Every time I fly to another location, I see another spot that I want to talk about, and I want to actually publish this video today so you can all start finding some awesome places to live on this amazing Valguero map that just came out. So as long as you're subscribed and notifications are enabled, it will let you know when the next video comes out. Also, if you want to see more videos that I am in, my wife and I have a new YouTube channel where we play Nintendo Switch games together called the Console Co-op Couple, and you can find a link to that channel in the description. It would help us out a lot if you go over there and subscribe to that channel too. So until the next video, I hope you have have lots of fun exploring this new Valguero map, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. Ark is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.